Big YouTuber Hassan Campbell had an intense standoff with the police after he called them to pick up a gun that he claimed he wrestled away from suspects trying to kill him. And he live streamed the whole thing. Now he took the video down. Wait, nigga, don't, don't, don't click off. I got the full video. I got you. Damn, nigga, chill. We gonna watch it? Well, I'm gonna shut my ass up and we gonna watch it. Now I'm the threat. There you go. That's the perpetrator. Okay. Take it. I called the police for you to come get it, right? I'm here. So why well, I'm the threat? Like I said, I'm just here to pick up the gun. There you go. There you go. I called you on the phone. Okay. Here you go. Alright, hold on one second. Uh, he, he, he made contact. I fucking laugh when I called them to tell them. There you go. There, there's the gun. Take it. That's what was used to try to kill me. I called you 911. Okay. Cause somebody, there's the gun. Why are you looking at this guy? Like right, I'm waiting for my partner to get in, man. Like I said, I'm just talking to you, man. What am I supposed to call? Black Lives Don't Matter? The gun is on the floor. They sent one officer, not even the precinct. All right, back up, man. I know, back up, right? Back up. I know, I'm the threat, so, right? Why are you walking close this way? Here you go. Take that, but go on, right? That was the danger of my life. I had to protect myself. I called the police, I did the right thing. I shouldn't have to talk to these officers no more about nothing. Now y'all mad at me because somebody tried to kill me, right? Where'd you find this I didn't find it, somebody tried to kill me. Okay. Okay, so and I called 911. So, what happened? Did it property? so why, there you go. Take, just take it to the precinct. I'll meet you at the precinct. How did, how did it end up on your property? I took it from somebody trying to fucking shoot me. Where, where did this happen at? There you go. Take the fucking gun off of my proper... I, I did the right thing, right? Yeah, you did the right thing. Right? Yeah. Now, I could, now here's the thing, right? It's a little strange that just... Here's the, the it's, it's, it's strange? What's strange is the fuck that black people is dying and you ain't dead. Okay, so you want me dead? No, I'm saying that I called you okay. to help me to get this shit off my property because I know y'all trying to fucking set me up. There you go. No. There's a loaded fucking gun. Listen, there you go. We're, Bye. We're, Bye. We're responding to a job. Leave. You called us. Where the fuck is the precinct at? You called us. Well, Brianna Taylor died. We came here. So I called you on the phone we to take something illegal. You got it, right? I got it, man. Like I said, And I showed you I'm a civilian, right? Of course. So what the fuck is you here for? We have to obviously ask questions. Right. So you gotta ask questions, That's right? Part of our job. Why the fuck it took you so long? Why? Why did it take you so long? So long when I told you that my life was in danger and I just fought somebody for that fucking same gun. We got here when, pretty when quick. When did this happen, man? I don't. I'm not a snitch. I, I said I'm fucking not a snitch. You take that gun. Take the fucking gun. It ain't in my house. You take it to the precinct. You have it. It's a 30, a 30 shot extendo, right? Right. I would love to have that. You know my record. Okay. I ain't got to speak I've for it. I've never dealt with you personally. I don't you don't have know. to. I don't know your record. But you send two police officers when I call on a fucking phone. Two. Two. This is what y'all send. Two. Would you like more? Would you like less? I, I don't know what, how we can help you. What? I don't, I don't feel like this. I'm, I'm feeling like, you know what? I don't even like police. Okay. And I see the Democratic Party saying defund the police. But yet I still try to back you pick motherfuckers Because I know the black community need it See this community right here They don't need it It's a wrong for a project Look what the fuck y'all doing What are we doing? Look what you doing We're having a conversation Look at your fake You think the hood can't feel fake? How am I being How the fuck is the hood going to feel protected by y'all? How long I've been on the phone asking y'all That can protect me and not even to protect me, I protect my fucking self. Right. And y'all gotta sit up there and look at him. The bitch ass nigga. Now he gotta be strategic and then be embarrassed. Like, look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. I don't need you to protect me. I called y'all to take y'all shit. Cause I know I'm being set the fuck up. Take your gun to the precinct. You got a 30 shot extendo. You got it. I did what I had to do to protect myself. And I know I'm gonna have to. Cause what I speak out against, See, I, I, I don't tell people to defund the police. Because I know the niggas in the hood ain't gonna protect the shit. I moved out of Bronx River up here, but I gotta go back where I live at. And y'all, y'all want some fuckery. 
Listen, we're here to help you, right? You ain't fucking here to help me. You took their fucking time. How did you, we take care of our time? You took, I called you motherfuckers in y'all place. I can't And the hood is right. looking for you because you bet your salary for the fucking hood. How the fuck we gonna stick pay pay y'all to take care of us? So when people say defund the fucking police, like damn, yeah, I called you, I gave you a 30 shot. Listen, that's my family. That's they like, shoot another nigga with a 30 yeah, shot. I, I ain't a fucking rat. I gave you what I gave you. I had to defend myself. You didn't defend me. Why y'all took so long? And why I gotta be the criminal? Look, you're not the why? criminal. You're the criminal. You're not the, listen. We're trying to be as safe as possible. Listen, man. We got a call that a guy has a gun on, on, the, on the, a loaded gun, No, you gun, got a call right? that say, yes. I took a gun from a motherfucker that tried to kill me. Now take it. We don't, I know it's the setup. We don't get the whole call. We just get what dispatch gives us, right? And I know. So that's from why this we're... Point for, see, the problem is... Listen, we're trying to do stuff the that makes is, us safe. Is the problem is, when they say defund you motherfuckers, I say no, don't defund you motherfuckers. Because I'm not from this shit right here. I'm from the project. So when I say don't defund the police, yeah. it's like now I'm the en the enemy. But now I gotta fight my own hood and fight you motherfuckers. Why are you fighting us? Why? Look how y'all rolling up on my fucking shit. I give you a 30 shot extendo. A nigga try to kill me. I got a family in the house. What the fuck I gotta deal with? So let me get this straight, cause I'm not even assigned to this call. I'm actually. Then why the fuck is you here? Cause I'm looking for someone else for another call. So you looking for someone else yes, for another call at my house? No, I'm looking to see if she came this way. She That's came. Why. So why one, the fuck is you talking to me? One block over. Then go back to your fucking job, lying motherfucker. All right. So damn, they think they think the they're dumb. Two of us are here for you because you called us. So right? the two of you are so here are, for me. We are here because I said a motherfucker. Yeah. I disarmed the motherfucker. Right. To protect myself because I know y'all sent the motherfucker and right. I can't. Look here, okay. take your beam. So yeah. we, obviously we didn't send somebody. Yeah, you want me to keep the beam? You want me to keep it? What's, what's that for? This is an infrared beam for the gun that you took, the 30 shot extender. You want me to keep it? I'll take it. I'll take it. You got that shit. So this is the thing. You called us, we came here. We're gonna when y'all raided my listen, house. Let, let, me, let, me be, let me just explain to you for a second. We're gonna try to be as safe as possible. We got a call for a guy, for a gun. I ain't got no gun. I'm just touching myself. Exactly. Don't shoot me, I motherfucker. Get you, I get you. Listen. You're coming at us a, a different way, you know what I mean? We're trying to we're trying to talk to you, trying to figure out what happened. That's number one. Number two, we gotta be as safe as possible. That's why you see our cars over there. That's why there's at least two officers. There's another job that's actually right down the street. It's actually on this street. It's on Jackson. That's why he's I know where the priest is at. It's around around the corner from my house. Exactly. It's right exactly, you're right, it's right down the road. I had to defend myself of course and see, from a setup from y'all, because I know whoever was sent from okay. was sent from the government. And I gave y'all y'all gun back. That's definitely because guns is easy to get in the streets. All right. So, so I gave it back. I called the police. Y'all didn't talk to me. Motherfuckers was, tried to kill it was me. Not us you got, so you got However, a thirty. So you got a you got a thirty shot extender on your fucking waist, right? Yeah. He's he's got the gun. But when y'all raided my house, yes. and I did nothing wrong, the whole precinct was there. Y'all didn't yeah y'all didn't answer my call. So now what I'm saying is y'all telling y'all telling me. First of all, I don't need y'all help. I don't give a fuck about none of you real niggas in the street. None of y'all. Hey. None of y'all. None of y'all. When I walk back outside, I'm telling you, I'm not playing with no fucking body. I don't give a fuck about these monkey niggas that y'all sending at me with your party. I don't care. I'm not going to fold. I'm not going to bend to none of you drug dealers, none of you gangbangers. I'm not folding. But at the same time, y'all see, these niggas ain't got no love for me neither. None. Not at all. It's not that we don't have love. Nigga, y'all playing fucking dumb. We're I ain't trying. not. I, first of all, I'm not a fucking right. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Oh, you trying to have a conversation so with me. So that's why we're trying to ask you what right. happened. Y'all sent y'all informant we didn't to set me up. Here. And now y'all want to sit up there and play dumb. We but when y'all raided my house, when y'all raided my house, it ain't look like this. It ain't look like that. I could like I had to beg y'all niggas to come get y'all gun. It's not our gun. It's not our gun, man. I know. If you tell us who was involved, we can help you. I know. You're gonna help me, right? Yeah. We're gonna, you gonna help try me? to. How you gonna help me? We're gonna try to get the person who was who was here. I know. Who had the gun. I know. But you took so you took so much time to come to how my house, right? How much time was it that we until we got here? Uh, about forty minutes. Forty minutes. Forty fucking minutes. It was definitely not forty minutes. I know. Yeah, you I know, came right? Here lights and sirens. I know. As oh, as I oh you call. was lurking. 
I was, he was lurking. Her. No. I know. See, you know the problem is. I was Sawmill River Road, right by Sam's Club, and I came over here. So why it took you so long? It didn't take me long. It took me maybe four to five minutes. I know. I ain't got a gun on me. It's my sweatpants. I'm just, I'm just. I get you. I know. I gotta get you. So listen. If you give us more information, Listen, like who involved, here's, here, here, here's the thing. The here, 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 here's the thing, right? right. Y'all involved. Okay. Your Democrats is involved. Okay. I speak out on behalf of the public. Do you make YouTube videos often? Yeah, yeah, I know it, motherfucker. My house got raided. Okay, I, I don't know this. This is my first interaction with you. My right. first interaction with you too, man. So we, we don't know you personally, right? But that's not our job is to dictate, oh, well, if we know you personally, we're going to treat you well. Our job is to treat people the same every way, right? We're trying to have a conversation with you, trying to figure out what happened. Because we weren't here, we don't know, right? So if you could tell us either A, who was involved, and I know you may not want to go that way, or you could tell us what happened, paint us the picture, you could leave the name out, right? But you can kind of tell us what happened so we can get better understand what took place. That's you got a 30 shot extendo okay from somebody that i believe worked from did, did they come up in a did car they, they work they work from the democratic party okay I, they work for the democratic party okay i took their fucking gun it All was right. easy for me to take were it. they walking now you got it i'm not going through that you have it okay. my whole thing is i shouldn't have to go through this okay i don't like turning over y'all fucking guns right. i don't i love guns it's a passion I'm going to have guns. They're beautiful. They're pretty. I like them the way y'all like them. Right, right, right. I called the police and did the right fucking thing. You took your fucking time to come to me. Nobody took their time, though. No, y'all hey, fucking hey, took your time. I'm telling you, nobody took their time. You he got, got here in probably three minutes. I got here in five. So now you have to You can 61. Yeah. And now we're trying to figure out how you came across this. <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is, and what I want you to figure out is, how y'all can make the people in the hood, black people, feel safe. How you could break this 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 stereotype? Fuck all the bullshit, cause I'm not your rat. Okay. I'm not giving you nobody. I gave you what the fuck you need. Okay. Break this break the stereotype where we could bridge the gap, cause y'all being defunded and y'all being locked up. Y'all now you being treated like the nigga. Now you can play the democratic game that's going on in America, or you can figure out how to break this fucking distrust that's going on between black people i'm not telling you nothing else i gave you what you in my fucking house because you couldn't pay me to believe that a motherfucker came to do all this then try to fuck me up because i speak on Jeez. behalf of everybody when, when did this happen just now before you call i'm or? not relevant it's not relevant you got a 30 shot clip and a fucking gun i don't know what the, i think it's a nine mil you got it take it you got it yeah. you got it, got it. Yeah. but i had to beg you motherfuckers to come. You didn't beg anybody. Nah, I know. I won't beg the next fucking time. Listen, you Because from here on, I won't beg the next time. I know. Throw up your Masonic sign, bitch nigga. You didn't have to beg. We were here very I know. I know. I know. I know. It's funny, right? I know. I know it's funny, right? But I guarantee you. See, the next time, I won't be here. And I'm ready. I know. I see you. Do you have any recent problems with anybody? I have problems with everybody. I have problems with you motherfuckers. Okay. I have problems with you. I have problems with you. You know why? With him throwing up the Masonic sign and him trying to get his rap in the back now. You, motherfucker. I have problems with you fucking coke motherfuckers. I have a problem with the fact that you motherfuckers don't go in the hood with no compassion because you don't fucking live there. You go where I live and you don't live there with no compassion. Then motherfuckers end up dead and it's just a fucking chuck up story. Then when I try to defend you motherfuckers and say, yo, don't defend the police because the hood need the police. This is what the fuck y'all do. I called on the phone after defending my life and now y'all get here and it's so safe now, right? I don't call the fucking peak police. I get pissed. I've never, I know y'all know, Hassan Campbell, I've always been locked up for homicides. This is a new life for me. Right. And when I call you on the phone, I'm not a rat. I'm being a civilian. But when I gotta go back to being who the fuck? No, we asked you just simple questions. We're you just ain't, having a conversation. Nah, you just full of shit. And you, no, you're saying you that you, it took us gun, 40 man. minutes to get here. It took I us took five, it three to five. From a motherfucker trying to kill me. Because I sit up there and I protect you, you motherfuckers. Know who this person is. You know who this person do is. Do I look like a fucking rat to you? I understand you don't want to tell Do I look like I'm person? telling? You got the gun, take it. We 
we have the gun. We you got the gun taken. Take That's what we're going to do. That's it. But we got to figure out how you came about this gun. I came You're about it because some... somebody tried to fucking shoot me and okay. I took it. What did that person look like? Your mother. Okay. Did they come up in a car? Were they on I'm foot? not giving you nothing else. Where did else. they leave? When I called you on the phone, y'all took forever to fucking come. Now y'all so happily, it, it, it looks it look so beautiful now. Y'all look beautiful now. You look so beautiful now. It looks so pretty. How the fuck, and y'all watch my videos, because I, I sat up there and I spoke to a detective that hung out with me on a fucking fish trip. And she told me how y'all felt about me. Why the fuck did it take this small, this much? I got children to defend. Children in my house. I got babies. So we're trying to help you find this person who tried to hurt anybody. Why the fuck did it take so long? It didn't take long. I told you it took three to five minutes. I mean, maybe it's like do you seven, realize, but it took some time, right? Do you it realize how long I was minutes. live for? I don't know how long. Nah, I know. I know. I know. Because I, I wasn't, because this street nigga is not supposed to sit up there and call the police and ask y'all to help me against y'all. Because I know the nigga that came to this fucking house to kill me was government. So now you got a 30 shot clip, you got an infrared beam, and you got a fucking nine millimeter. Got it. If I'm gonna speak on not defunding the police, what the fuck is y'all gonna do? Is you, you. Nah, is you here, is you here to make sure that white people don't look like the way y'all used to look during the days of slavery? Are y'all no, 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 no. Are you to gonna color, fix? Man. Are you gonna fix? The image that y'all have from the days of slavery, or are you gonna come treat black people like niggas? Because the reality of it is, I don't give a fuck. After this day right here, I called you one time. I'll never call again. This is your first interaction with myself and him, at least. I don't know if you know anybody else here. The thing is, is we've treated you with nothing but respect, right? Right? We're just trying to have a conversation, right? So we're just trying to figure out the facts. And I'm not strapped. It, you, listen, I don't have no gun. You got it. I'm right. just my body. You showed language. us already. You showed us already, right? You gave us the weapon, right? So we have that. That's good. We're happy with how safe it is right now. But you're being a little animated, a little, little emotional. I animated? Get I get it. Animated. That played my games when you came. How? So we're just trying to piece together exactly what happened, right? Listen. We're do me a, do, do me a favor. Do me a favor. What's that? The next time you go into a black community, just recognize everybody ain't a criminal. Of course not. That's not how we operate. How? How? It's not? It's not how we operate. Not Who the here fuck at Greenberg you think you're talking to? Who you think you're talking to? We treat people the way they treat us. At least it's the way that we operate. I ain't been treated like that in my fucking life. I got set up by the police the last homicide that I was locked up for. Uh -huh. I didn't commit that shit. The okay. police set me up. Locked me up, Bronx River Projects. Okay. Six it's six four apartment. Set me up for it. I didn't do that. Okay. Sure when I not. called y'all on the phone, yeah, y'all didn't come. We did come. With love and right compassion. Away. No, you took your fucking time, and now I feel like a fucking criminal. You shouldn't feel like a criminal. No, I you do. Because you didn't do anything I know, wrong, right? I feel stupid. Now, how the hood supposed to trust you? Throwing up your listen, Masonic it's signs. It's dialogue. Man. Throwing up your Masonic signs. The same shit. Black Lives Matter. These police officers represent Black Lives Matter. So when they sit up and up, they talk about defund the police. That's black. These niggas is Black Lives Matters too. It's all a fucking agenda. Hassan, how can we help you today? I gave you a gun. Okay, I appreciate that. Motherfuckers tried to rob me. Okay. They ain't get me. You got your gun. Okay. I wasn't going to take it in my house because I knew that was the setup. Okay. You got a 30 shot clip. You got a motherfucking gun. I defended myself. Y'all got what y'all got. I'm not giving you nothing else. Now, what you want to do is, when you're going back into the black community, protect them. Because the reality of it is, you got black motherfuckers that don't want to live like that no more. They're still defending themselves. Okay. And the fact that y'all being defunded and y'all playing this democratic game, the game that's being played in America, the break America, okay. that ain't going to have America great no more, people got to defend themselves. Okay. I agree. So how can how can we help you take that, that fucking setup gun that y'all got in my crib, that 30 shot clip, take it to the precinct. Okay, we'll I'm do not that. testifying on nobody. I okay. defended myself. Get the get it the fuck up out of here. Okay, we'll do that. Appreciate that. So and how, treat how, some else, people like they people. Hassan, what else can we help you with today? Because we're gonna take all your suggestions and we're gonna implement them. 
When you sit up there and you deal with other black people, understand that everybody black ain't a fucking criminal. Okay. Noted. We will, we will not do that. Okay? That's it. All right. So what else can I help you with today? Bring my mother back from the dead. I wish I could, man, but you know that's not possible. All right? Then go back. Do you, need, do you need any other help today? Nah, just go. Let me go back to my kids and tell them and explain to them why police can't have a, 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 a productive relationship. We are right now, me and you. No, y'all took y'all time. Y'all played military mind games. When y'all raided my house, it didn't take this long for y'all to rape my fucking house. My autistic daughter was in my fucking house. When y'all kicked in my door, y'all left me out here. And y'all didn't, y'all just raped my house. And I had to sit there defenseless like a fat. I'm sorry that happened, okay? So let's move on, let's build up a better relationship. When you find another black person, understand that everybody black ain't fucked up. Okay. So what else can I help you with today? Take your fucking gun and that motherfucker, because I'm not testifying it. Take the fucking extended clip, take that gun, take that infrared beam. Now you have a whole loaded gun yep, that I could have been you. I, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I like guns the way you like guns, but I can't have them. I'm a felon. Okay. So you take that shit because I, I would really, really love. I appreciate and you. And honestly speaking, I'm from the hood. There's some of these gangbanging, faggot ass niggas that I would love to shoot that act like I'm not a retarded nigga. That's not where you're from. Bronx River fucking projects. Okay. This ain't my home. Okay. I made it my home. It's a nice home. Take your gun, take your loaded clip, take the fucking beam back to the precinct. There you have it. Are you kidding the house? One of the officers take a look. You can take a look. I appreciate that. You can take a look. Okay. Well, we want to know how else we can help you today. Cause you can help me. Because the reality of it is, when y'all raided my house, I was live and it took five seconds. But when I told y'all to kick to come get your un your illegal gun that tried to set me up, it was quick. Okay. Hassan, you stay out here. Stay out here, man. Hassan. Nah, you're not gonna walk knock on my door with my wife and my kids that like that. that. I, I did. Okay. So we're gonna make sure they're okay. And okay. Sure you're okay. All right. So you can walk with me, y'all all can walk with me. And I'm giving you permission because I ain't a fucking criminal. Hey, Colin, we'll come up behind you. What's up? You been drinking today? Hell yeah, I've been fucking drinking before y'all set me up. You can stay off the camera. Matter of fact, you can stay right where you at. They ain't got to go no further than that. That's my wife and I ain't putting on fucking camera. Okay. Sorry. No, you're okay. You're okay. okay. I just want to make sure everyone's all right. Yeah. My children, no, they not all right. They ain't she ain't all right, okay. neither. How the fuck they gonna be all right? We gotta go through this. Can this officer just talk to your wife real fast? Huh? Can he just talk to your wife real fast? You could absolutely talk right, to my wife real fast. Yeah, Thank you surely could. Appreciate that. What's today? What I drink? Anything good? You ain't asking me about the gun, the perpetrator, the gun, or no nothing else. No, no, I know, I know, but you want to know what I fucking drank? Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Hey, you want to talk about the guy with the gun? Let's talk about him. Nah, I don't want to talk about none of that. I want to say fuck you. Okay. What I want to talk about, what I, what, what I want to talk about is the fact that when you walk and you step in front of another black motherfucker, I want them to fucking trust you. Okay. I want to talk about that. Yeah, can we start with me and you? You trust fuck me? Fuck out of here with your mind games. Y'all look so beautiful. But I tell you one thing, I never sit up there and tell y'all to come get y'all gun again. I use that motherfucker. Y'all demons. Black lives is a setup. Black lives don't matter. They don't matter. The Black Lives Matter is a fucking setup, and they work for these same fucking demons that's in my fucking yard right now. Demons. They all demons, y'all devils. Black Lives Matter. Fuck Black Lives Matter. Fuck your whole fucking set. That's what they represent. Your Democratic fucking party. You want to talk to me? Talk to me about what? About what? Whatever you want. Talk to me about what? About the little fucking eight-year-old that got shot? You want to talk to me about that in the Patterson Projects? Where is that? At Patterson Projects. In New Jersey? And No, in the Bronx. Okay. What, oh, you don't know? I don't know. Right, because you don't fucking live there. I don't. Right. You want to talk to me about the, 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 eight, the 18 year old from Cortland Projects that got shot after he graduated? Right? Basketball player? Yeah, the basketball player. Okay. That was defunded. Yeah, and when they say defund y'all, and this is what the fuck going on, what you want to do? Listen, understand something. I grew up a criminal. I grew up busting guns. That's that's me. I was busting my fucking guns. I don't live that way no more. 
What the fuck is you going to do to protect the people that's trying to live right now? We're taking your suggestions. No, are you going to be def defunded? Are you, are you going to be defunded? You going to be a de 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 Democrat? Or are you going to be a, a, a party that's going to sit up there and say, all right, you know what? I'm down, I'm, I'm down with the party, with, with Trump and everybody that's trying to save the America. What you doing? What you doing? Y'all can take whatever y'all got and go. You can go. But if my kids call you, are they going to be safe? Yes, they if are. If I pull up, because the reality of it is, when you watch my videos on YouTube, I speak out against gang violence, drugs, and everything else. So I'm public enemy number one. I speak out against you motherfuckers and the gangs. So now when I drive on the highway, I got to worry about you motherfuckers pulling me over and these motherfuckers. They all these different sets. Like, yo, son, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. I got to fight the hood and fight y'all too? Fight us. Fight us. Uh, of course I got to fight y'all. Of course I do. Stay over here, right? Now I'm going to talk to my wife. Oh, this is my house. No, I'm not going to stay That's over here. I'm not stay under stay arrest. Here. You're not under arrest, but I want then you to Then why the fuck here, are you okay? telling me I can't... To, okay. Yo, close the house door. The fuck is you telling me I can't go to my house for? You're not going to go I'm not under arrest. Why the fuck is you... Yeah, you can go back to my house. Okay. So now I'm... A, okay. Get the fuck out of my face. Get off my property. Stupid nigga. Don't say nothing else to them. No more conversation being that this nigga want to tell me I can't walk in my house. I never said that. I said just not right now. Okay? So why the fuck I can't walk in my house right now? No more conversation for them. Close the door. Lock it. Close the door. Lock it. The fuck is wrong with you? Get the fuck off my, pro my property. They ain't for the fucking people. He, yeah, yeah, this nigga. Mass nigga. What's your, what's your badge number? You can read it. I know. Yeah, they can read it. So now I can't go in my house because I'm under arrest because I called you. Are you in handcuffs? Get off my property then. Are you in handcuffs? Why are you telling me I can't go in my house? I never said that. I said you're talking to your wife right now. When we're done talking, then you can talk to her. The fuck right? is you think you want to interrogate my wife without me? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, That's sir, that. Sir. Sir. Kids, kids okay, make sure sir. the kids are okay. So now I'm a threat to my own fucking kids because of you. Because no, I told you, give me back my gun then. It's your safety. It's Give me back the gun you found on my property and get the fuck out of here then. Huh? Give me back. I called this monkey nigga to, to save me from a gun that I took from somebody else. And now they want to make sure my kids are safe. Right? And that's why. That's your mice. I understand, my song. I understand. And this is why, right? With 3,600 people following me. This is why, right? So now you protecting me from my own fucking kids because I gave you a gun. That somebody try to kill me with. Because I look like a fucking sucker. The fuck off my property. Get the fuck off my property. Bye. And I'll never call you again. Thank you, Greensboro. Because now you got to treat my wife like we suspects. We're not treating like suspects. I know, so I could, but I can't talk to my wife like she a dumb bitch. I never said that. I know, right? But I can't talk to my wife, right? Never said that. Get the fuck off my property. You failed the community. Bye. Come good. Yeah. I reached out to you and that's how you treat me like a fucking suspect. Get the fuck off. I'll never call you. I'll get another one because they're going to say more. Now get the fuck out of here. And this is what the fuck you do. You fail because you want to treat somebody like a fucking suspect. Nigga, I'm a fucking shooter. I was raised to be a fucking shooter from a young nigga. And I called you on the fucking phone because I knew y'all was trying to set me up. Or somebody was trying to set me up and I took that gun and I gave it back to y'all. I will never give you nothing fucking else. You fucking demon ass niggas. You fucking demons. Worth my mother. I called you trying to do the right thing. I will never do the right thing again in my fucking life. In this house, I'm going to sell it. And you the face of this fucking evil. You had the chance to be the Trump player. You want to treat everybody like a sus, a sus fucking suspect. Give me, put the gun back in my fucking driveway so I can protect myself. I act like the cameras ain't in Siva. Put the fucking infrared beam, the gun in the fucking clip back. Put it back. Because outside of that, I got to protect myself. You ain't going to protect me, you bitch ass nigga. You don't even understand how many white people that follow me, follow me and support me. You're a fucking shame to your own fucking people. Trying to separate me from my fucking wife. Look at you. Look.
I don't give guns up. I shoot them. I've been locked up for homicide three times. And I ain't saying I'm guilty, but I'm a shooter. And I changed my life to be a fucking family man. And got set up, and I know I'm being set up, and I gave you a fucking gun with a 30-shot clip. And this is what the fuck y'all treat like? This is why people ain't... Yeah, defund the fucking police. Fuck y'all. Defund y'all. Defund you. You took your time coming to my fucking house. And then y'all treat me like a suspect. Perfect example of why the police ain't no fucking good. In Greensburg. Right around the corner. It took y'all that long. I know. Do you have an ID on you by chance? I know. Go fuck yourself. Okay. You know who I am. I, I told you. You know who I am. Go fuck yourself. I told you. On internet. Go fuck yourself. Okay. With your mother's mouth. Go fuck yourself. No. You know who the fuck I am. Y'all know who I am. No, I ain't got no fucking warrants. Take that 30 shot clip and that fucking gun with all these fucking police around my motherfucking. Go fuck yourself. Bye now. I'm leaving too. So I walk with y'all motherfuckers. Now you can leave my fucking shit. Because I know the police ain't good for, for nothing. Now I'm the perk. Because I called you motherfuckers to do what the fuck you ain't going to do. You motherfuckers. Don't never call the police. They ain't gonna never fucking help you. Black people, we ain't got nothing to rely on. Donald Trump tried to help us, but he ain't gonna do it. These niggas is fucking demons. They demons. It's over. Now you got a 30 shot clip. I gotta walk over my shoulders and look over my fucking shoulders for motherfuckers that wanna kill me because I sit up there and I talk about black on black fucking crime. And y'all niggas ain't gonna fucking help me. So fuck it. Black people gotta kill each other and y'all ain't gonna help that neither. Y'all not gonna help it. Babies dying all through the fucking hood. You grabbing y'all fucking guns looking like y'all posted up. Fuck y'all. Go back to the precinct. Make y'all living. That's all you there for. Black people dying. Little fucking eight year old died. Patterson Projects died. I got a passion behind what the fuck I do. I do. Black fucking kids, eight years old, died. Murdered. For what? For, so what you doing about it? What can I do about it? What what cause you you the fucking police? What could you do? Right. Your job. Right. Your job. But I can only do so much and my job is to be in green. I can't go down to Patterson. You got brothers and sisters down in fucking Patterson. Right. But we don't want our community. Y'all yeah, do. That's their job to do in Patterson. Our job is to do Greenberg. So when I and sit up there and, and, and I and I Greenberg. sit up there and I tell you, right. my life is in fucking danger because right. I speak about about the shit that go on in America right. with this nigga shit, right. and y'all treat me like we, a nigga. Then why 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 the fuck I can't be a nigga? No, we're treating you like a person, like a human. Nah, nigga, I'm a criminal. It doesn't matter what color you are. You segregating me and my fucking wife. No, because we wanted to have a conversation with her just by her. For stuff. what? I'm just treated to, to like a to, nigga. No, no, and understand something. Just to understand, understand where you're understand, understand something. Where you're understand from. something. In the hood, yeah. we tired of black killing black. But when it comes to y'all motherfuckers, we defenseless. Because they gonna kill us, and you motherfuckers gonna kill us. And then when you make it out of the hood and you say, yo, I just defend, I just defended myself and took a 30 shot clip from a motherfucker. And I feel like it's a setup and I let you motherfuckers get it. Take it. I don't give guns back. I like guns. My dick hard like porn. But I gave it back because something just didn't feel right. And I let y'all come get the shit. And y'all gonna fucking integrate me and my fucking wife? What it like is, nah. We're just trying to piece it together, man. Piece what together? How the Piece what? It. Piece what? Told you before how the got how the, the gun fuck got out of here how all you gun, had was me like. yeah and you're the guy who saw the other guy so we're trying to help so you. why the fuck is you talking to my wife to try and and then you took your time to get me. here when that told what's going on i'm not a fucking rat but i know y'all sit the rat y'all don't even understand sometimes your own government workers against y'all with y'all being defunded y'all stupid some of y'all and there's some of y'all playing to go along with this democratic game. Some of y'all. Some of y'all. America is over with. I'm a street nigga. You got what? That's just Hassan Campbell being Hassan Campbell. It seemed like controversy followed this guy everywhere he goes. And I'm going to just be honest and say it. I don't think he would be honest and forthcoming with the police. 
I believe that was his weapon. He seemed drunk, he seemed under the influence, and more importantly, he seemed paranoid. I think he thought somebody called the police on him. I think he felt the walls closing in, voices in his head, and he said, hey, let me get rid of this weapon before the police come. And this is the bright idea he had. Get on live stream, call the police, and end up getting arrested. And let me just say this to Hassan Campbell. You're no dummy. You're a very smart dude. I hear some of your commentary on recent events. I like your perspective. But you always had these type of moments on YouTube. You and Derek Williams. You crying, getting drunk on live stream. You got to carry yourself better than that. How am I supposed to take your message seriously when I keep see, seeing you doing stupid stuff? Well, I wish you well, Hassan, and I hope you get the help that you very much need, and I hope this situation turns out in your favor. I'm out. Peace.